if you desperately want a breakthrough how many can say man of god i desperately want a breakthrough uh, let me give you the strategy and use this strategy all the days of your life number one if you want a, a, a breakthrough desperately number one you go on a fast three to ten days go on a fast it's up to you depending on your problem and there you caught isaiah 58 verse 6 to 8 so you are not just on a hunger strike you are fasting with understanding and you are understanding that when you fast every single yoke and every heavy burden is removed and the yoke is destroyed you also fast to release light whatever situation is troubling you is a dark situation so you fast to release light number two you engage in midnight prayers aggressive prayers 12 midnight to 2 a.m 3 a.m what are you doing you are attacking the strongman you are attacking the spirits you don't pray nice prayers that time that's when you pray prayers to destroy the powers of witchcraft prayers to destroy the strongman binding him destroying his power let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end james 5 verse 16 to 18 the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available james 5 13 is anyone suffering let him pray so prayer is an antidote to suffering so you engage in these midnight prayers in your house number three word based declarations not in just sumuka i will rise uh-huh what basis are you going to rise on you find the scripture I am the head, I am not the tail. I'm above only, I am not beneath. Save now I pray, oh Lord. Send what? Now prosperity. So you summon money to come by declaring the scriptures. Not emotional declarations, scriptural declarations. Number four. Number four is to package a sacrifice what is a sacrifice a sacrifice is an unusual seed all right now it is money that you would have rather used for something else but because you want to change your situation you package that money as a seed as a sacrifice and you bring it to the man of god he lays hands on you and pronounces a blessing David did this in the book of 2 Samuel 24, verse 24 and 25. He had a serious plague in the land. He wanted to turn around that situation. What did he do? He packaged a sacrifice and he took it to the man of God. And he said, I will not give to God that which costs me nothing. So sacrifice is something that means something to you. Psalm 126, verse 4 to 6. They were praying, oh God, turn around our captivity. Please turn around this situation. They were praying. And God replied them in verse 5. He said, those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Why did they sow in tears? Because they would have rather kept what they are giving. But God says, to turn around your situation, bring it as a sacrifice. And, uh, and when you put it on the altar, it will change the situation. And then number five is deliverance. Deliverance. Obadiah 117 upon Mount Zion upon morning prayer the morning prayers we do here they are primarily prayer and deliverance sessions so you come to number 99 Park Lane Avenue in Harare next to Kenyan Embassy opposite Harare Gardens near NASA near Master of High Court you find us here for deliverance but don't come for deliverance if you have not fasted if you are not prepared to pray if you are not prepared to sacrifice if you are not prepared to get into the word and do declarations don't just come for number five because all these things they work together everything sorted this is an unbeatable strategy for a change of story